Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, Hydra, Icky, and the horrible, horrible abomination. Okay, boys. Where we last left, uh, you four um, had uh, defeated through help a horrible um, amalgamation of zombified ogre corpses turned to a ogre bead. Um, it was slain, or at least it disappeared into the river, where it was pulled in by a hydra. And then you saw nothing else of. Um, the uh, Durgar miners were successful in finding a, a vein of gold, which is what they're looking for. They found little specks and rocks, but they knew somewhere up, upstream there'd be a good amount somewhere. They succeeded in doing that, which is a great boon to the town uh, when it starts getting mined out. But you all decided to follow the trail that the Ogrepede left. Very easy to follow because it just dragged its rotted belly across the ground and uh, crushed several trees and stuff on the way there. Very easy to follow. Um, and it led you to a place not too far off that looks like a um, a mound or hill but the earth around it is corrupted and blackened like you've seen at the other um, ogre towns uh, where it's this black sticky evil and the trees around have uh, died and started to rot on that um, and I think, yeah, we just left off there. Um, so you, you see this, this mound in the distance. Uh, how are you guys, what, what are you guys going to be doing to this? Like, what are your objectives here? How are you going to do it? Well, I think we're just going to, I mean, I presume the trail is still going from the beast. Yeah, it's a right. It's a straight shot from a from point A you to point B the mound. You just see the the, the mud gouge in the earth. Yeah, I think we just keep following that at the minute. I mean, there's no yeah. reason for us to separate off unless there's like anything significant, like landmark wise. No, it's it's pretty open. It goes from slightly hilly to a plain, and there's just this one mound hill in the center of the plain. Uh, well, yeah. may as well see if anything there is still actively causing these kind of creatures to be made, or what have you. God, I hope there's not more than one of these creatures. That would be bad. That would be very bad. Um, you can see that when you get closer, you can see around on this um, mound are the um, the collapsed huts of ogres. Oh, so this was another ogre village, but the all the buildings have fallen over. Maybe it was turned longer ago, um, or maybe something knocked them over. Um, as you get closer to it, within two hundred feet, <clears throat> the ground starts to change from you know just grassland to this sticky tar-like um, intuitively you know that it is uh, negative or uh, uh, what do you call it? Evil. <laughs> there's, a, there's another term for it but um, corrupted? Yeah, corrupted. Corrupted work. It's another word for it, whatever. Uh, yeah, corrupted. And as you um, get even closer, uh, you can see that this mound has, um, well, it looks pretty uniform in size. Um, and it looks like there is a, how to say, um, you can see an entrance, right? It's so like a hobbit hole almost, but for ogres size, um, dug downwards. Um, and the entranceway is, uh, the doorway is uh, indicated with these stones, just regular rocks. 
um, which makes it easy to see. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. That's all you can discern from the outside. The entrance is ogre-sized, yeah? The entrance is oversized, yeah. Okay. And just so we can confirm, this is, this corrupted land is the similar to the ones that the ogre villages have, and not the ones we have in the blightlands or whatever the hell we're calling the deadlands. Um, um, on blightlands, I'll, I'll actually add the. Oh, there you go, the black hands. Um, it, yes, um, the black hands have more of a coldness to them. Um, it's still dead, but it's sort of like the dead, it reminds you of like the, the death of things in winter, whereas this is the death of rot. Uh, okay, so it's like barren it's death and texture wise, yeah, <laughs> texture wise is different, uh, gives a different feel. Both are evil, but both are um distinct in their style, right? Fair uh, enough. All the ogre villages do have the same like shtick, though they have you know sticky ground, yep. Uh, yeah, but again, that could that, that again, that could just be based on the ogres rather than anything that else has happened, so who knows, yeah. Mm. Um, okay, so what, uh, what are you guys doing? Who's leading the way? I'll... I guess I will. Sure. Okay, Madeline. Uh, Madeline, you go down into this, uh, this, uh, mound, entranceway. Um, is the trail leading from this entrance, or is it... Just from this sort of general area that it's coming from. Oh, that's a good question. Um, it so it leads to the mount, um, but it leads upwards on top of the mount. Right. Okay. Um. Do we wish to continue following the trail, or shall we check out this location? We might as well check this out while we are here. It is not like it would be hard to find the trail again. No. Uh, yeah, Madeline will just kind of walk over towards the entrance, just keeping an eye out for any um, in uh, falls or traps. I'm going to post in roll 20, just so you guys have context for the amount, how big this thing is. It's, it's oh, substantial. Yeah. It's, it's bigger than expected. Large, it's, it's large. Yeah. It's larger. It's artificially made. Um, it goes up quite a bit, um, and you can see that the um, the slug trail or the slug, the ogrepede trail <clears throat> goes to the top of this. It doesn't go around it. It goes to the top. Okay. Hmm. The top we go. Yep. Yeah, it sounds like there's even more reason to just go follow up to the mouth then. Okay. Deciding not to go down the um, the stairwell or the doorway um, that looks rather old and you know has been dug out by the ogres. Um, you go to the top of this hill. At the very top, you can see that the um, top section is actually open, and it is a um, pit, roughly dug, that leads downwards into the center of this mound. Um, the smell that is coming from this is extra potent. Um, there is rot in a very distinct form at the bottom of this. Ah, fair enough. Uh, can we, like, see down to the bottom, or...? Um, it is... What's your dark vision? 60 feet. 60 feet, you'd be able to see the bottom. Um, you see, uh, puddles... You see water down there, stagnant and muck. Um, you can also see 
um, seeking out of that a, um, well, it's hard to discern. You see like pile of rocks. Like similar to the ones that uh, adorn the doorway. Um, they're all like pretty uniform shape. <clears throat> ah. Um, like someone placed them there, but you, as far as like why, you can't tell from 60 feet away. Fair enough. Mm. Um, it seems as though this leads them to well, the bottom of this mound. Perhaps that is where that uh, pathway leads than the bottom. There's no other signs of like a trail leading from the top anywhere. The it's the not... trail leads directly to the this opening. Yeah. Okay. Well, shall we climb down, or shall we try the entrance at the bottom? I'm more than confident in my ability or my uh, skills at climbing. What have you, the rest of you? I have plenty of rope. Yeah. Rope sounds good. It's... It's... Why aren't we trying the door again? <laughs> No, because uh, it was apparently suggested that we use this instead. So take your pick. Okay. Well, if people are going to climb down. Let's climb down. Melons we just we just followed the um we just followed the trail up to the top. That was kind of about it. So, well, let's climb yeah. down then. I shall attach my rope to something and then throw it over the edge. Okay, sounds good. Um, <clears throat> how much feet of rope do you have? Uh, I have 50 foot. It's not going to be enough to reach the bottom. Um, Madeline, hey. what's your strength? Uh, it is 13. Okay, yeah, you, you can, you can support one other person. Um, but you, there's no, like, this is an artificial dirt mound, there's nothing to attach the rope to within... You know, five feet of the opening. Okay. Like the mountain um, itself is 50 feet or so. Wait, well, how are we doing this? What's the plan? Uh, <laughs> Madeline's rope and letting Madeline figure it. Am Yours. I going to use my utility spell again? <laughs> This one that will just summon a, a, a dirt column for me to attach the rope to. Uh, yeah, I, we could just go to the path. Yeah, okay. Five foot of uh five foot of earth with like grass on is would be strong enough to attach rope to. Probably. Maybe. I'll roll for it. But anyways, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay, Madeline <clears throat> Madeline's tying this rope around. Sorry. Not something this rope around this dirt mound that she summoned. Um and tying around herself. Uh yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Lucera, Callie, you guys do anything? Watching to see if she falls. Okay, sounds good. And Lucera, same. Um, I am just actually no. I'm gonna uh, just start climbing down the sides. Sounds good. Um, the um, the whole opening of this thing is like ten foot uh, diameter. She can't oh, okay. brace herself against one side. Uh, ah. You can climb down. Um, it is earth, like soil, <clears throat> but is compacted still. Uh, the moisture isn't helping. Um, you have a climb speed, but I feel I like do. this is such a bad material to grab a hold of. Um, can you roll me athletics? It's not a different oh, Okay. Role. I can try. I mean, it's it's like somewhat loose soil, so... I don't feel it's more of a climbing speed 
then you're thinking a more magical climbing. Oh, that's true. Yeah, physics, you don't necessarily have to apply yeah. that your weight to the wall. I forget that magic breaks physics. Never mind. Yeah, you're good. You, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can still make it if you'd like. No, 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 it's fine. You weigh nothing as you okay. descend down. You weigh uh, as much as a feather as you descend down. Uh, the weight of the feather in... collapses the soil. Are, um, are you waiting for Madeline, or are you just going down on your own? Uh, probably just like kind of keeping pace with her. Okay, sounds good. Like maybe just a little bit higher up, just in case uh, okay. uh Callie comes along as well. But yeah, sure. Uh, no, I think Callie's just watching this go on uh, from the safety of outside. And Madeline um <clears throat> throws the, the the middle part of the rope down and then starts descending. Um, and uh, you, see Madeline, in the hole, you see Lucera just waiting for you. Uh, and you two start to descend into this, and it goes down a good like thirty feet. Um, at the very bottom of this, uh, it opens. So the the hole, the yeah, the hole that you guys are descending down, um, opens up into a um, larger circular room. Uh, you guys are in the center of the ceiling, essentially, um, looking down. Uh, once you come to the edge, though, um, Madeline, there is enough rope for you to. Eh, there's enough rope for you to get all the way down. Right. Um, Below you, the ground is covered in uh, liquid. Because um, there's no light down here, it's hard to tell like texture of it, but it looks like a dark liquid. Um, and Lucier, you see this as well, obviously. Um, you both are able, before descending into the liquid, you're able to stop and look around. Uh, this looks like a burial site. Um, but so it looks like they've been um they'd like bury ogres here but they can't like make sarcophagi because they're ogres but what they can do is pile rocks around the body okay. um sort of in case than that um you're very crinkly okay anyways um but all those have been disrupted uh, they've all been disrupted. Aside. They've all been disrupted. Um, the this room is actually significantly large. Um, I'd say 30, 40 foot diameter. Um, so there's several dozen of these uh, barrel mounts here. Um, but you, you see that they're they're mostly submerged in this water, this liquid. Mm. What's the liquid sort of look like? Does it just look like sort of tainted water? Um, or? It is with dark side on, it is hard to tell just standing there. I will mm. light and, a torch. And also there are um totems uh, surrounding the uh this this barrel chamber. Uh, similar to the other ones that you've seen. <clears throat> there's more of them. Usually there's just one per town, but there's like six here. Um, and each of them have a uh, head, uh, a dragon's head on it, or maybe some other sort of serpent. As in, like carved into them, or the skull? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, carved, carved. It's it, it, it's carved wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I wasn't sure because I mean, because we had um, the staff okay. with the hydra skull, so I wasn't yeah, sure. Hydra. Hydra yeah. Um, um, I will light a torch just to kind of see if we can tell what yeah, kind sure. of um is. it looks like um how to say with the light source you can kind of tell that it is water or but there's something else like it's not how to say this is not water in the traditional sense uh it it is something else it is a watery liquid. Okay. It it shimmers wrong for water. It shimmers different. It's hard to describe. It's its own like substance. Uh, do I see any movement in the water? It's deathly still. Okay. Uh, I would like to throw my lit torch 
into the water or whatever it is. When I see the torch being well, I do you mind if I start climbing down the rope? Uh, me or the DM? <laughs> um, what? sure. Uh, if you comfortable having two people supported by a rope. Oh, I thought they'd already reached the bottom. Uh, no, they're dangling above this water. They haven't gone. They haven't touched the ground yet. Give me one moment here. Okay. Um. So you say you drop the um the torch into the water? Yeah. Uh, like, after a few minutes of kind of looking around, I'd, I'd probably be like, "Yep, yeah, cool." Okay. And then throw the water down. Throw the torch um. Down. So you drop the torch, the wood torch, um, and it hits this liquid, and the fire immediately goes out. And you hear like a sizzling from the fire hitting this liquid. Okay. And it goes out in this smoke. And then after like ten seconds, the wood part starts to sizzle as well. Oh. This is That's... something. This is acid or something. Well, that tells us two things. One, the liquid is not flammable. And two, do not touch the liquid. It is a good thing you did not <laughs> oh jump god, down. if it's yes. ramble, you'd be fucking dead. Yeah, but you know. Hey, you guys, you didn't, stop, a, a, didn't stop counting. Yeah. <laughs> All that heat immediately going past you guys. <laughs> yeah, but death didn't stop Cali. <laughs> exactly, it's fine. And besides, you say that like I like Lucira hasn't experienced that already when that fire elemental fucking ran by her. Yeah, fair enough. That that spells a reaction is fantastic. I love it. Um, but yes, the um, the uh, the wood from the torch starts to um, sizzle, um, and this is this is acid. Yes. Um, are there um, other pathways around, or um, you look around? There is a like a walkway, a, probably leads from the doorway. Um, walking down, like at the end of the this chamber here. Um, right. It's going to be very difficult for Madeline to transition from rope to room. Uh, hypothetically, could like jump from uh, stone pile to stone pile, but it'd be very dangerous. However, Lucera is a um, uh, thing. thing. Um, <laughs> and could, I mean, because fucking, you know, laws of physics don't apply. Uh, can just uh, crawl around the rooftop and stuff like that and look around pretty mm -hmm. easily. Yeah. I th you know what? I think I'll do that. I'll just crawl just towards the entrance. I'm not going to like go too far into it at the moment, but just have a look to see. Okay. Um, there are um, two of these totems near the entranceway. Um, you can see daylight. Once you get near it, you can like look up and you can see, just for context, you're walking along the ceiling, right? Yes. Okay. Um, you can see daylight uh, when you get close to the entrance. You like peer around the corner. You can see at least the daylight. You can see that uh, this liquid can uh, goes up to the stairs that are leading up, and you can see that there are these two. God damn it! I fucking I keep hiccuping and and coughing and shit today. Um, <clears throat> you can see there's two of these totems um, near the. Um, entrance way. They appear to be made of wood, but they aren't. They haven't like. Um, they're they're set in the the ground for what you can tell, slash wall. Um, but the wood it hasn't um eroded from the acid. Um, and at closer inspection, you can see little drips, little minuscule drips coming off these statues. And landing in the pool of acid, um, not enough to make ripples for the center of the, the room where you guys were at. When you get close, you can see the slight movement of it, um, and yeah. it looks like the acid is coming off of these statues. Are these statues the same? Like they still look like the normal totems, or um, like culturally they're similar, but they're you know every village has slightly different. Yeah, but it yeah. looks like ogre make. It's not it's like an ogre made. Yeah, something ogre else made. made this and put them here. It's ogre made, yeah. <clears throat> um, 
but that's what you can tell. It has writing and stuff on it, but if you want to like get more information or get more specific questions asked, you'd have to get closer. Yeah. And does it like lead directly from the pathway above or um yeah, more or less. Okay, so I can like I can probably see the You can outside. you can just you can just like crawl out of here. Okay. Just I'll just shout out to um Madeline. No, I'll just hang there by rope. Yep. It seems as though the path leads direct <laughs> fucking dark. directly here. Mm. If you wish, you may want to climb back up and go back through that path. It should lead direct. Should we uh, meet up just here? I will meet you there in a moment, so. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Then Madeline's yeah. climbing up the rope. Yes, sir. Well, keep an eye on her while she. Actually, wait. Let me double check something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on Madeline just while she's still climbing, but also, like, probably prepping to uh, have a look around at these, um, acid totems, specifically. Okay, sounds good. Um, if you have any specific questions, ask them, and I'll, I'll, we'll do knowledge checks, or I'll just answer. Yeah, so, it seems like there's been a source of acid, uh, which is very unusual, really, but from what she's seen of the previous, of all the other totems and all the markings she's seen, does she see anything that actually looks like noticeably similar? Like picking out major things, like I'm presuming um, uh, TMF, oh, um, for example, or any, like, it's, anything significant that would be the same across totems? Um, so, how do I describe? So, the other totems, they don't call it Tiamat. Um, but because right, of the magical the thing, you, you're able to translate into like it's what it actual means, uh, the name for it, because uh, it's how magic works. Um, you see, um, you do not see a specific reference to Tiamat in these um, totems. Uh, you can see these totems are, um, despite being protected from the weather, uh, these are very old like any any cuts and carves have been patinaed away just by time these are probably older than the other ones right. um you see reference to um a dragon that they killed and that's like the big cultural thing that that made this into a proper clan was they killed a dragon Oh, they're worm slayers. Okay. They're worm slayers. Yeah. So, and this um is this right? Is this a different tribe to the other this villagers? Is a different tribe. It's yeah, a different yeah, this tribe. Is a, this is so a you've got tribe. Misk tribe that literally didn't do anything apart from win. The vill uh the river tribe with the hydras and then worm slayer tribe. Yeah, we got worm slayer tribe, we got um river tribe, and we have uh the tribe of the spring. Um the river tribe, they had um hydra motifs, but at some point that transitioned from Hydra into Tiamat Dragon Wolf. slash Tiamat. Yeah. And this um, thing has mentioned to a dragon that they killed, but... This thing, yeah, reference to a dragon not... they killed, not, like, worship yeah. of a dragon. Okay. Also, because it possibly... I mean, it would make sense then to be at war with River Tribe as well. Because they would, were the ones that were worshipping these dragon creatures. But maybe that's just me jumping to conclusions. Um, interesting. Okay, so they've killed a dragon. It doesn't, I'm going to assume it doesn't really. Well, they would big up any story to make it sound more impressive than anything. Yeah, that's exactly actually what it was. So this, yeah, they could, make be, this, thing, this could yeah. be the, the, the great worm, and it's actually just like a fucking child or something. They, they show it, yeah, they show it coming out of a volcano. It's like as big as the fucking volcano. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, we, out of a volcano. Ooh, I would have guessed out of like a swamp or something because of the acid. But yeah, no, it's it's represented with a volcano. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So there's nothing specific to Tiamat, but I'd have to get a general understanding. Um, where are the where's the acid coming out of these things? Is it just dripping like from 
within the um, word or, or within with the... a quick observation um you can see it's almost like um condensing around the mouth but there's no like holes it's not so a mechanical it's not like thing a, it's, it's not like a source it's... it's like magical or cursed or something like that yes interesting so the fact that it's now magical means Exclusive would like to look for a source magically for the acid. Sure thing. Like, because um, if it's if it is magical, then there must be a power source for it, and sure. there must uh, how, be. How how are you searching for that? Um, magical runes. Also, man, I should really probably think about getting detect magic as a cantrip. Anyway, uh, as yeah, a be helpful. You would. Um, I should probably get looking into getting that. Yeah. Um, you uh, look for runes in this thing. There are no magic runes on. Um, well, there's like the the, the ogre ones of like yeah, the, the know, good luck. No. Yeah, of like oh, this is a sacred superstitious magic. Round. Good luck, toe. Yeah, exactly. Um, but nothing like actual. Nothing specific to creating acid. Something else is creating this. Interesting. Yeah, because it means it's not like. Yeah. Must be... Anyway, yeah. Uh, Lucio's probably just going to keep trying to look at that while waiting for some time. I think. So um, while you're looking at this thing, um, you can see the little drip drops of acid coming off the tongue, the, the tongue of this carved creature um, dripping into the um, acid and creating these little ripples. And while you're looking at this, uh, can you give me a perception check? I can certainly try. <laughs> ah, I am really looking into this thing. Um, you don't notice the other ripples in the acid, and you don't notice the uh, your sword glowing even more. Oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> I should really not have that in its sheath or something. Yeah, he was... yeah it's just it's just the yeah, little the the viewer can uh, can see and you yeah. know. This is, this is exactly light. the pantomime moment of it's behind you, isn't it? Let me look. Let me look. That Undertaker meme. Just standing behind the other wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if only you had friends around to watch this, her back. I mean, I me kind of assumed look. they were coming. Let me just look at something. Well, yeah, but. Where you are, well, oh, that's true. I just by the doorway. Yeah, no, it's, you're, you're, I mean, yeah, I don't like, imagine it'll be down. There's that's a pool fine. of acid there. Yeah, they're not going to be there. I mean, I, I presume they'll still be on the way, but I'm, I'm not upset that they're not there. But again, Lucira is arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to do a grapple check um you're being surprised so you're going to get disadvantage you can either use um acrobatics athletics or weapons. acrobatics can you roll me neither a great so athletic city One moment, please. You feel a... Well, there's no skeleton version, but it's good enough. Uh, you feel a skeletal hand grab you by the hair and pull you in. Let me roll for this creature. No, that's all I wanted. Just incompetent. Okay, just gonna do a strength check then. <laughs> I think it beats me. <laughs> and and pull you into this acid. Ouch! It stings. Um, it's this is not quite a this is a one on one combat, so we're not gonna roll for initiative. Um, but it is combat. I fair. Starting now. Fuck him up, Toxie. I'm literally being grappled into acid. This Not where I don't want to be. 
acid. Oh, not to fall into the acid. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, splash. Uh, and it does seven acid damage. Um, if you want to do your reaction elemental spell. You know what? I can't, um, I know we don't have initiative. Who's going to go first after this? But you know what? Yeah, I will. So I'll just pick you, you, you'd be going next. Yeah. Okay. Is this a yeah. reaction, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, because you're it happens before your turn starts. Yeah, it's fine. It wouldn't. Yeah, cool. It refreshes at the end. Okay. Um, less it's affecting you. Resistance. Do you take half damage? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so you are right by the doorway. <clears throat> uh, you get dragged, uh, pulled down. Um, once it pulls you down, uh, it lets go of you. Um, it was just to like pull you into the acid. Yeah. Um, and it is your turn. You find yourself underwater, or under acid. You should Nick, look around. Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds that sounds bad and unpleasant. Ah, the glory and it burns. It burns. Um. Right. So uh, my immediate reaction is going to be get the fuck out of the acid. Um. Remember, it was it like stairs or anything to the. Yeah, there's stairs. So okay, it's... cool. It's behind you, and stairs are right in front of you. Yeah, okay, so draw a uh, sword. Okay. And uh, you know what? This might be a mistake, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, I'm going to cast Green Flame Blade. Okay. That's my action. Pardon me, which basically means... Hang on, I don't remember. Did I set it up? I did not set it up. Okay, anyway. Which means I get to take a swing with my melee weapon. Mm-hmm. And if it hits, stuff happens. So let's find out. Swing twelve. Uh plus one d six for um the acid from your absorb elements. Yep. Okay. Does twelve hit? Um, twelve hits. Oh, nice. Okay. So. Sorry. And and it's a one d six because you're using your um your longsword and against undead it causes one d six fire damage. Okay. Um, one minute. Let me show. Let me check what Green Flame Blade actually does. Then, do, 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 do. So this thing also adds takes an extra one d eight fire damage as well. So it's oh wait, one d eight fire damage. Oh, because the spell, right, right, right. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Spell. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so it's six, so it's an extra two d six plus one d eight. Yeah. Cool. Wow, that is some really bad rolling for damage. That's amazingly bad. <laughs> that is so awful. Okay, so um, you get pulled in the acid, and you um, you jump out of the acid, um, and it's streaming down, and you're smoking, um, and you just turn behind you to slice this thing, and you put a nasty gouge in it. Um, you can see that this is a zombie, or it's not even a zombie ogre; it's a skeletal ogre. Its head, its skull, has been replaced by a reptilian, like a, uh, yeah, a reptil, a, a small dragon skull, a small mm -hmm. reptilian skull. Okay, so probably a little bit bigger, I'm presuming bigger than a lizard, but like a normal lizard, but... Yeah, it could have been a large salamander or something like that. Okay. Um, right, well, seeing as that's also the case... Um... And Lucera is arrogant, not stupid enough to fight in acid. That sounds bad. So she's going to back away, back up where she effectively was. Okay. Uh, yes, I'll take an opp uh, opportunity attack, but uh, I'll have to live with that because acid is guaranteed damage. Opportunity attack is possible damage. So yeah, I'm going to back up, uh, try and get, get away from it, get some distance, and... Most more importantly, out of the acid. Okay. Sounds good. It is going to try to attack you. It certainly will. Oh my That'll god. That'll yes. hit. My fucking hits. Yeah, can you please don't. Don't. Let's, uh, you know what? I'll take it because it's not a crit. <laughs> so carry on. Oh. Eight, I did four damage too. One. Two. 13. Um, but yeah, it punched you, and the acidity that its bones seem to like absorb it almost, or are are cloaked in it, 
Um, and it uh, hits you, and the acid also starts to burn at you. I think yeah, your your immunities uh, expired, right? Mm. Uh, actually, hang on. Until the start of your next turn, yeah. So yeah, okay, yeah, it's been done. Uh, yeah, uh, Lucius is going to back up thirty five feet away from it, okay, and probably go towards the entrance. I presume. Yeah, you can you can get outside with that uh, speed. Oh, then yeah. yeah. Probably just go. Actually, yeah, thirty-five feet. The thing hits pretty hard. Yeah, I'm gonna try and just get outside for thirty-five feet then. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Madeline and Lucira, or Madeline and Callie are, are descending the hill and like by the entranceway. Well, when you see uh, Lucira run out, smoking with acid, um, yeah, rather startling. You okay? Did you sleep? Yeah, it was. I was not as alone as I thought. That that was a weird, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, your accent's based on a fictional place. It's always correct. Whatever. <laughs> you can't be wrong. Can't be wrong. Yeah. It seems as though not all of the ogres were content to stay dead. None of them were. Um, the ogre. A... Yeah, but that's uh, that's my turn. The ogre does not follow you. In fact, you can't really like you. You, you no one of you can see down into the entranceway, but um, you're not followed. Interesting. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna cast a second level kill wounds on myself. Okay. Yeah. Get some of that back. Wow! I am rolling. Crap today. All yeah, right. you do. You roll poorly until like the last ten minutes of the uh, session. Yeah, clearly. Good. Uh, yeah, but that still gets me a bulk of my workshop back. So do you, do you, okay. do you want another bit of healing? Mm, I can handle it just fine. It just took me by surprise. That is all. But I would be careful. It seems happy to drag people into the acid. And then Lucero will sort of a little bit more confidently sashay back in. And okay. so let's see if she, she can get in a location on it. Okay. Um, and Madeline and Callie are following behind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Lucer is leading. Um, your sword is still glowing, but it always glows when Callie is nearby. Yeah. For some reason. <laughs> Congratulations! Um, I've ruined part of the functionality of that. Weapon. I've always wanted. To, I've always wanted to give like a ogre detect or like an orc detecting sword to an orc player. It's always fun. <laughs> it's, just, it's just it's just always glows. That's all. Yeah, it always glows. <laughs> um. Yeah, that that's why you didn't notice it earlier because you're so used to it glowing all the time. <laughs> yeah, Ka Callie must be close. That's all. That's mm. the only reason I mentioned it glowing is because Callie was uh, more than thirty feet away. So when you were down the thing, it stopped glowing, but then it started glowing for a moment. Okay. Anyways, you have the short out. It, it illuminates the area uh, with a glue, blue uh, light, um, and you can like look around more or less the more of the room, uh, most of the room, from your vantage point in the stairs next to the acid. You see no ogres, and the water is deathly silent again. Hmm. It seems as though it is content to hide beneath the what the acid though. It seems it did not follow, so it is not the usual undead slurring behavior. Almost like it is trying to protect this, this place, perhaps, but hmm. you think we to... have to be near enough to to the acid for it to pull us in before it awakes? I believe so. It only grabbed at me when I was um, looking at these totems. Is there anything important on those totems? Mm, no, which is almost the unique part. There's nothing particularly unique about them. It is just a burial site for... There's a marker for burial site, but... The acid seems to be coming from them, but there's no, no, no magical source for that I can find that does so. It's almost like they were used for it at a later time. Hmm. 
Ayun. From what I have seen, it's the creation of such a spell to constantly create the acid would not be easy for these people of these ogres. So. It doesn't seem very ogre like. It does not. And not only that, it, this burial site is sacred. Why would they, something buried in acid be sacred to them? Could be there for and also, cremation. And also the um the depiction of them slaying a dragon, uh, like a fire dragon, or at least a dragon from a volcano. Yeah. Yeah, but they have they buried their people here, like under the statue, mm -hmm. under the rocks, don't get me wrong, but burying and acid, one or the other, that seems redundant to have both. Yeah, you'd have to do more research for more answers. I would. Hmm. But unfortunately, there's some busy trying to drag us into acid. It's rather rude of it. Is anyone an alchemist? I was going to say alcoholic, but uh, no. <laughs> I, have, I have herbalism. Okay. Also herbalist, I'm afraid. Which admittedly does have something to do with potions. Yeah. There's probably less acid, though. Are there any herbs growing out of this acid? No. Things don't tend to grow out of acid. Acid tends I mean, to just kill life. <laughs> and yet there's an undead here, so... Well, again, kills things, not... Is there an undead yes. herb here? There is not an, an undead herb, but I'll, uh, that's a good idea. I'll think that up in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, it's pretty much just a straight shot, is it? It's not like there's any offshoots from the doorway. It's just a doorway into yeah cavern. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, you know. Well, uh, sure. Let's see what sort of march a little bit forward and wholly believing in her com overconfidence that she has not earned in any way, shape, or form. Um, believes <laughs> that the ogre will be no, no, will not be as much of an issue now that she knows it's coming. So you're at the uh, acid edge, the bottom of the staircase. Not quite the edge, <laughs> but yeah, more or less. Like you're probably just like ten, like ten, fifteen feet back from the edge at the moment. You're at the edge thematically, but not for the sake of ambushes. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay. Like enough that she'd have some warning before it's gonna, if it, before it grabbed her, but close enough to have a pull. The, the acid is still. Was it maybe how close you were to the totems that were that was causing it to awaken? As opposed Perhaps. to the acid itself? Perhaps it did seem to come when I was close to the totems. Um, but mm. undead creatures do not usually know the difference. Normally they just attack with whatever is in front of them. Plus whatever similar magic has caused those statues to leak acid is also binding this un these undead to protect the totems. So you will just sort of reach out and just, I don't know, take a grip on one of the uh, totems? You have to... So the totems are inside. Um, the acid does continue into the walkway, or like the, the stairway. A good okay. like, five feet. So you'd have to like walk over ten feet of acid, like go around, go around the corner, in order to get to one of the totems. Oh, uh, you can see some totems on the opposite side of the. I can draw it out if you want, but yeah, sure, like that's fine. I mean, so I was actually a lot closer to the acid initially than I thought. Yeah. Um. And then the um, because the the ceiling there's, there's like five foot or like let's say six foot of ceiling above the acid. Uh. So you're walking like right there. Um, you can see two of the totems on the opposite of the wall, because um, they're at equal distance, or six totems total. So, from the doorway that you're at, you can see two totems on the far side, and you know there's two totems right on the corners of the center sway, like five feet so, away. Standing mm. at the very edge of the acid, how far away would the to nearest totem be? Um, thirty-five foot or so. Uh, okay, right. 
Uh, are there any loose rocks on the ground that I could throw at a totem? The entire doorway is made of um, loose rocks. I would like to throw a rock at a totem. Okay. Um, no need to roll for it. You just throw it, and it bounces off the totem. <clears throat> Nothing happens. Mm-hmm. So where was mm-hmm. I stood then when it fir- when I first triggered that attack? Um, you were right in front of, but you're upside down because you're standing on the ceiling. Um, the totem around the corner. So 10 foot away from where you are currently, you're right by the totems. Oh, okay. Can I just do the same thing again then and sort of just climb onto the walls yeah. and basically just try yep. and get to the same place? Yeah, sure. If you're, um, <laughs> you'd, you'd have to be walking over about 10 foot of acid as long as you're okay with that. And you might even be, you'd, you'd be mostly out of view of your teammates unless they also were like in the acid. Oh, uh, right. I am beginning to page right now. Oh, okay. Here, let me just, let me just draw. Like a thing. Okay. Left hand side. Yes. Okay. Hmm? Lopsy wants to seize this, wants to seize the means of reduction. Lopsy wants to see me die in acid painfully. Keeps standing up on his hind legs looking at the screen, so I'm wondering what's he what's he doing? Do you want to play D&D too, buddy? And y'all... Play a Jerbean. <laughs> right there. Jerbean bot. If we just give Flopsy yes or no options and just have a camera as to see which side he goes to, he can play D&D with us. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay, then. And the acid continues on to the, uh, the entranceway. Like five feet because there's stairway that goes down. Right. Okay. And it's just a round room. There's no other exits to no, is there? No. Oh, there's the the central one, the whole. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, the one yeah. at the top. Yeah, but. Yeah, I'll draw that. What, like, what are we gonna? Guys, what are we gonna achieve here? So, like. <clears throat> Just I think you're out more information from the totems. totems. Yeah. yeah. I if if uh, Lucira's climbing across the wall and stuff, I'm going to hold action to if an ogre appears out of the acid. That sounds good. Uh, you, yeah, fuck, I can't. I, also, I, the I, ogrepeed came from this baron or burrow. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, but we don't have a way of destroying it. Yeah. That actually reminds me. How did it, we, we the og the ogrepeed went? Oh wait, has it? Yeah, he did the climb. Okay, so it probably climbed up. All right. I mean, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to be bait. So we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna basically just gonna climb up onto the uh, just climb up onto the walls. Effectively. Okay. Like I just did before, and then I'm just gonna see if I can just bait the ogre, the ogre thing out. And if well, if it's not gonna, and if it doesn't surprise me, I'll probably try and have a look at go up, I'll climb a little bit higher up, and then look at the totems a bit more. Sure thing. Uh, oh, which totem are you gonna go for? Uh, which was the one I was looking at before? Um, the one right by the entranceway, like right here. Yeah. So I'll be looking up. Probably one of those two again. I need to be close to my allies. Okay. Do, do, do. Give me one moment. I'll point out they will not be a surprise this time. I am fully prepared. They grab you from the wall. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> They're, in the so, They're in the goddamn walls. I mean, walls at stone shape, whatever it's called, or. Or so it lets you just no, whatever it lets you meld into the ground around you mm. or the wall. Yeah, mm. I know you're talking about. Okay, um, so you're gonna go and look at the totem again, right? Yes. Okay, sounds good. Um, you s- crawl along the ceiling. Um, 
and get around the corner, um, but position yourself as best as you can so that your allies can still see you. Um, nothing seems to happen. What would you like to ask me about this totem? If you're actually like observing it or like studying? Yeah, if I'm if I'm at a point where I feel safe or yeah, you're still paranoid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as you should be. There's a fucking predator in the acid. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can still like look at it. Yeah, I mean, is it pretty much just the same sort of markings as the one I was yeah. about previous? Yeah, yeah, they all seem. This one's all. This all. They tell the same story. Um, same acid. All that. Also, really interesting. So the acid must be soaking away somewhere. Otherwise, it would just keep filling. Uh, fuck me! I don't know. Like, it must be well, something. What would what would victory look like here for you? What would success look like for you here? What for Mysterio? Um. Well, no. I mean, sure, but also you guys as a player. I don't so you, know. you've gained information from this totem. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So they, they they killed a worm, or they killed a dragon. What they're Something calling new. a dragon. Mm -hmm. That looked like it came from a volcano. Mm -hmm. As big as a volcano. As big as a volcano, but there's not a connection to any... I'm just wondering where the acid connection comes from. Because it doesn't make sense for a burial. Like... Um, you should roll Naro's Arcana. It's, oh, magically, sure. it's magically being produced. Yes, I will do that. Fingers crossed. You know what, that's acceptable. Um... Uh, this level of uh, magic is probably beyond ogres, uh, especially since it lasts a long, long time. Is like, time. yeah, uh, this is like proper wizard stuff. Um, there's no runes, so it's not like carved into it. Um, this is a constant effect lasting over a burial area. Um, and you don't think the ogres did it? No, it means it's clearly something. It uh -oh. could be a curse of some sort, um, either intentionally made, or sometimes uh, curses can be like a byproduct, like just the the act of um, casting a spell or like yeah. causing something magical to happen can affect um, the re like realities around it. I don't think it. I don't think this could be considered an accident because entirely because all the ogre villages have been blighted. Mm, that's too. Cons yeah. That's too consistent to be an accident. Not only that, they've clearly been wiped out, yeah. more or less, by that something. Is, it is a common thing, um, but I'm just. I'm, I'm just like specifically talking about the acid. Yeah. Um, there may be like a thematic clue here, but it's not like a solution itself. Yeah. Because um, there's not a lot of information here. You have um, very basic storytelling. You have. Um, so I meant the ogres, not you, by the way. <laughs> these ogre villages all have the same sort of like cursed ground. Um, that could either be intentional or it could be a byproduct of something like some horrible fucking magic. Um, and then the acid here could be a byproduct of something else. Like, if someone were to summon, for example, like um, uh, an acid elemental or something like that, a fire elemental, it can affect the area around it. We did find the fire... Yeah, like, like the fire elemental at that place, right? Where... Yeah. There's basically a fucking molten volcano now. Yeah. That, so that's the question probably... is, is this thing barren because there's something was summoned, or was something summoned because this place was barren? All good questions, but most importantly, where the fuck is that undead ogre? Yeah, no, he hasn't attacked. It's really, I mean, for a zombie, for a dumb zombie, that's this is really strange. Yeah, it is. Because, to the best of Lucera's understanding, if there's an undead that's effectively not being controlled by a master, like um, you're fucking hang on, 
Malandrak. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much just ravenous. They just uncontrollably attack anything nearby. Um, if it's a basic undead, yeah. But this thing hasn't attacked you, like, ravenously. Yeah. Assuming it's a standard undead unleashed, your evidence does not support that. No, it what doesn't. your evidence does support, because it's it's undead, you know, you know the zombies. Uh, this is not a dumb undead. It's not dumb. No one's shit. The one person that can possibly communicate with it isn't here. Good. I hate that spell. How, How deep <laughs> is the acid? Um. No. Um. I mean, I could stand in it, so. Yeah, like the, the you'd see the, like the barrel mounds. It's like a couple feet, like two, three feet, uh, probably three feet acid. It's just tall enough to burn your privates if you step in. Oh, fuck. Okay, I, if if it if it could speak, I could understand it, but not the other way around. Yeah. It doesn't seem interested in communication. No, it didn't. But it... <sighs> I don't fucking I can't hunt something that can't see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's completely submerged underneath this um uh this dark acid. And it's completely unaffected by it as well. You're in its domain. Yeah. Question. Yeah, what's up? Let me just double check the wording of the spell. Ah, it does. It does specify. Um, water walk acid. If someone uh -huh. was to try and pull someone down, would it still just act as like a solid um, surface? Let me look. At the, can you post the spell? I bet you the answer was in the text. Uh, if you target a creature submerged in the liquid, the spell carries it to the surface of the liquid. Um, so it makes you buoyant above liquid, but you could still be grabbed down. Uh, you'd, you'd immediately turn, return to the surface, though. It would also still oh, take damage. I th um, As if harmless solid grounds. That's why I was thinking that if if the thing was to pull, come up and try to pull the person back down, would it just but be like someone being? It, it's harmless ground? solid ground. For the sake of moving across it, it doesn't make it like solid ground in every way. It's not actually solid ground. It's just for the sake of movement. You could walk it across it. Okay. Let's go on. Uh, what's this? What's the spell? We'll, we'll see. The, the creator of, or the whatever, director, does a really good job of answering every possible question you could ever. Or you just do it democratically. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming the spell kind of like gives like an inch of distance between the water and your foot, and that's kind of how the spell works. Hold under. Like almost like a levitate, but it has to be across like a liquid surface. Uh, what are you hoping to do? You just want to uh, walk across the liquid, the acid to like taunt it or something? No, I was just wondering. Uh, it was just a question about the spell. If how the sp how the spell overall acts upon the person that has water walk, and if something tries to pull it under. Um. God. Uh. From what I'm reading, generally it's yes, they can be pulled under. Yeah, but then get but then reading. get pushed back A up. Point up, yeah, yeah. You'd okay, immediately well. be service him. Yeah. Well, I have a way for us to to traverse the acid, but that won't stop us from being pulled under. That is really more the danger here, along with the ogre itself, but. I do not believe it has been too dangerous once it is out in the open. Getting it out in the open, that is the problem. Uh, 
Uh, I, am, so I am willing to try and bait it out. Well, someone, one of us has to. I, I volunteer. And you volunteer as tribute. Understood. Do we want water walk on all of us before I go out there? Take your pick. I am. Uh, I am perfectly. I am perfectly happy to just cling to the walls like some fucking demon spider thing here. Uh, Madeline, what did you say? I'd say I'd say probably do it on all of us just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I think we can still voluntarily go under if we need to, but yeah, it's able to just... Yeah. Um. All right, I want a ritual cast water walk. Okay, sounds good. Um, you'll go uh, side, wait for the acid, spend ten minutes in a yep. round. Um, yeah. Casting, yeah. And now you go I'm water acid. I am um, then we're gonna go back down the stairs, we're gonna go back to the edge of the acid. I am mm -hmm. going to cast Shillelagh oh. and walk out while taking the dodge action. Huh. You do that? Nothing happens. I poke into the water a bit with the show lately. Water well, doesn't recognize you because you're undead. <laughs> I mean, I, I am beginning to get a little sick and tired of this creep, this uh, ogre. Well, do you want to come out into the water now? Onto the acid now? I mean, might as well, right? Now that there's all three of us, surely we can take it. Surely nothing can go wrong. Yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, Ryan, you're you... walking in the acid, right? Ryan, if you crit me to death, I swear to God. You're <laughs> walking in the acid, right? <laughs> I'm already on the acid, so it's up to them too. Yeah, yeah. sure. Madeline? Um, I, I mean, I wait, hang consent. on. I will, stand, I will walk across the acid and onto the bricks. Sure. So, yeah. Barrel stones. Yeah, Natalie, I need your consent before I have you walk on the acid. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. What could go wrong? How long do you want to stand there in the dark, guys? Because nothing happens. Oh, <laughs> fuck off. This thing attacks me immediately. And now it's not fucking cowering away from us. A last bit of magic left in its bones. I would guess this or creature is a ambush predator. These are dead. They are not meant to be ambush predators. Well, I'm undead. I could be an ambush predator. Like Lucero literally, gl literally glowers at you like fucking not the time for your semantic bollocks. I don't, like, I, I don't know. Everything seems perfectly safe for semantic bollocks right now. So you're like wrings some of the acid from her hair as if to spot as if to uh, what hair point. <laughs> Oh, my hair, fuck you. I mean, it can't, like, it's not incredibly strong acid. It's not like it dissolves everything as soon as we touch it, because I, know. I well, got I'm dragged into acid. it and it's fucking stung like a bitch. But. Alright, fine. Uh, Lucio's just going to start looking around at the other totems. But once again, very much in the mindset that this thing can, ha uh, can and has ambushed him. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the other totems um have the same story. It, it seems like a um like a celebration of like their past and history, stuff like that. But also, it it's like a warding, um, to, like a protection, good luck charm for the the dead here. Um, clearly hasn't fucking worked for them then. Yeah, clearly it hasn't worked for them. Um. It seemed more like we killed a dragon, so don't like are undead. If you try and like mess with them, they're gonna kill you. We're super strong, even in death, sort of thing. Um, no references to undead though, like no, no references to them being undead or them having skeletal warriors or zombies or you know, that shit. Um, no, that's just like and, said, and this seems beyond what they can do. Um, yeah, or the acid at the very least is. Yeah, this seems pretty out uh, of yeah. Uh, ogres are not known for their uh, magical abilities. Uh, most of these ruins that they like carve in are completely useless. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. There's there's no reference to like necromancy. 
Um, there's references like protection from evil juju and evil spirits and stuff, but yeah. Uh, uh, this is going to get very pissed off, and she's going to, uh, with the rapier, stab into one of these totems and then use green flame blade to fucking set it on fire. So you stab into it. Um. Well, fire. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you, you stab into it and uh, green fire and it ignites and it starts to burn. Um, it has a very, very... Well, you're in a room of acid, so it already smells like acidic and like sulfurous. Um, but the room starts to fill with smoke. I mean, uh, there's a big chimney. There is a big chimney. There's a big chimney. I don't need to breathe, well, so I don't know about you two. Fuck it, yeah, I'm, destroying this, I'm destroying this place. Uh, <laughs> the anger has gotten to her. Yes. Fuck this thing. Fuck everything it stands for. Fuck it. Fuck. It's, whatever it is, this is perishing now. Uh, Callie and Madeline, would you like to do anything? Um, I'm not going to get in the way of Lucira's um, rampage. Lest I also become a victim of it. So I'm just going okay. to keep, keep, just keep a step back and just let her do her thing. Um, Lucira, how many of these tomes are you destroying? Uh, so I'm hang on, I'm just going to point this. I'm going to set this one on fire. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to walk over here, do the exact same thing to this one. Yep. These are all casting spell slots, right? No, it's cantrip. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you think you're, you're gonna you're, burn spells on it? I thought you you've lost your mind and were casting spells to, out of spite. I'm angry, not stupid. <laughs> there is there is literally a threat here. Um, Callie and Madeline, do you guys want to leave this chamber? Just asking. Uh, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna keep an eye. You're gonna stay? Okay, okay, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna help spread the flames. Well, sir. Keep destroy, no destroy number yeah. three. Number three, gone. Okay. Um, but number four. Number four. Number four, She's gone. Still fucking them pissed. Burning. I'm um, also. Oh, right? They, uh, they all pretty much did the same thing, right? They're, they they're all, just the they same, into, same yeah, story. They, yeah, they, yeah, same, same. These are very old though, but yeah, they all, <clears> they're all burning. They're all actively burning. Uh, okay, number five. Number five, burn? <laughs> yes. Okay, number five, burn. Um, you, have, you are in a circular chamber with a chimney and a, uh air inlet. Um, the, the, the room, the smoke, isn't just going up the chimney. It is circulating through this room. Um, and with the more and more of these you burn, the faster the air gets and is shooting up the uh the chimney it, it's not like scorching hot or anything like that but it is like burning um as lucia is going around and setting each of these aflame and then with the last one she's just you you walk, good. oh sorry gone. you walk over to the last one and with an <laughs> indication you're going to burn this one as well but before you can the ogre stands up there you next are to you uh, he has a very large, but very rusted greatsword. I know it would draw you out. I don't know why she suddenly got deeper, but yeah, she <laughs> like sort of grins. Let us roll that's it. initiative. No, that's not initiative. Where the fuck's initiative? There's initiative. Okay, I'll select your your token. Oh, um. Why can't I? Oh, there's. Oh, you just wiped us. I, I, I know, I know. It had, it had from a previous thing. I'm, we'll just have to manually hit my bed. Uh, Lucira. Five. Madeline. Fourteen. And let's see where zombie goes. Finish. Two. <laughs> 
Okay, Madeline, this thing stands up with a greatsword ready to um, cut Lucira a bit shorter. What would you like to do, Madeline? I will. Cross frostbite. Okay, sounds good. Advantage on the next attack sounds good. Do me a favor and remind me. Mm -hmm. When that comes up. Okay. Uh, first. Damage, con save. Jesus Christ, cast my rolls. Mm. Yeah, that just about beats it by about 10. No, no, <laughs> no, failed. Okay, so it, it doesn't yeah, have that. No, effect. it's fine. Okay, cool. Really, it's still a cool spell. Okay, um, any other Madeline? Um. <laughs> I am also going to. <laughs> Shit, which would be better. I'm going to activate this hmm. with zeal. And that'll be my turn. Okay, that's good. Um, next up is Callie. Callie, you have your shillelagh. Yes. Uh, um. I have my shillelagh. Do I have anything else I could do with it? I don't necessarily want to do necrotic on an undead creature. That doesn't seem smart. Uh, <coughs> so I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to yeah, shillelagh the fucking thing. Okay, so it's good. Whack it really hard. Fucking yeah, he did. God <laughs> damn. Well, damage isn't that great. Uh, how close am I to it? Next to it. Next. Okay. I imagine you had to like move like ten feet in order to hit with your stick. Oh yeah, true. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's fine. <clears throat> Sounds good. Uh, Lucira, what would you like to do? You were prepped for this thing. Yep. What would you like? To do? Uh, probably green flame blade it. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, so I don't have that. So, longsword attack. You should sure. probably start Fuck off! Jesus Christ! <laughs> It'll get back to Toxie. Your Siri is actually cursed. You know what? Yeah, kill her. Kill her and I'll come up with a new <laughs> character that hopefully doesn't roll natural one on you literally played, everything. Should have played a halfling. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> Halfling divination uh, wizard. Anything else you'd like to um rethink my life choices? Fair enough. <laughs> That's a move action to rethink. Ogre. Okay. Ogre is going to attack uh Lucira with if greatsword. You, if you crit me, I swear <laughs> to God. Well, now you said that. That's not fair. You you ensured <laughs> it's gonna happen. I have. Oh okay, no. 14 <laughs> misses. Good. Does it have two? Does it have two? No, it has one attack. God damn it. Okay, cool. Next up, Madeline. Quick. Um, We're just <clears> going <throat> to beat it down on melee. Just start kicking it. Just three guys around this thing, just kicking the shit out of it. <clears throat> so I could just have to read something here quickly. Can I choose... Okay. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to try. Oh, it's and... oh, it's sleep except for blinded instead. What the hell? I'm going to try and put the cone that way. Yeah, sure you do. That. And uh Was it six, 10. It's gonna have forty-two or less hit points. Uh, it doesn't. It has more than forty-two. Damn. 
Let's go to the end of fight, but the fight just starts. Oh, one moment. Let me get the phone. <clears throat> well, that was a free cast anyway, so. I can yep. try if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, big a big thing like this plus a zombie, it's gonna have a shit ton of HP. Yeah, I was hoping to get more, but it really really good <laughs> against um, a bunch of lower lo level things because you can mm. um you can get more of that cap, more of that efficiency. Okay, anyways, man, in the, your turn. That's that's yeah. Actually, uh, 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 oh no, never mind. That's necrotic. Uh, I will leave it at that. Okay, sounds good. Kelly, you are up. How tall is this room again? Um, like six. Yeah, feet. You're, so about um, you the acid. Acid is like two, three feet or so, and then it has about mm, six or seven foot above that. How tall is the, the ogre? Um, nine feet, eight feet, eight feet. Could I cast fairy fire high enough that it only clips the ogre and not the rest of us? Um, what's the radius? 20 feet. Um, e no, because the room has a diameter of, um, 30. So uh, even if you were put the, um, the far side, you would, uh, have to clip someone. Uh, but that's what I was thinking, putting it higher, if he was taller. It, it, you're in a one-story room, it's not going to make a huge difference you're all like also that height okay then like the the like the two foot difference <laughs> between this ogre skeleton and you is not going to be enough to make that difference in this small room and fucking i want to hit it with a shillelagh again it was really <laughs> Okay, that hits. That does damage. Um, minimal damage. Yeah, one. Yeah, that can't be helped. <laughs> and Lucira. What's Lucira uh, doing? Uh, she's once again going to uh, live dangerously. She's going to backstep away from the ogre. Um, I presume. Are you disengaging or is it just going nope. to attack? Okay, sounds good. Uh, swings a great sword. Ten, miss. Miss, nice. Uh, and then she's going to cast a uh, Scorching Ray targeting it. Yes, that's good. Uh, no. Scorching Ray number one. Right, hit. Number, right, right number two. Right number three. Hit. Hit. Three and five, three and five. Um, <coughs> you know what? Because 16, 21 damage. damage. I'm actually using... Hold on, hang on. Before I do that, I'm going to take two damage. So I can re-roll some of those damage die. Oh, the blood? Yeah, sure. Yes. Slash path. Slash path. Six. It's going to be complicated, so it's just minutes. Oh, three, one, and two. Oh, that's... Never mind, it's the exact same. So I two damage for no reason. Anyway, uh, carry on. <laughs> oh, two damage isn't a huge cost. Okay. Um, Sierra. Ogre. Uh, Sierra just disengaged. Who would they go for? Well, Madeline's hit with a stick. I think you'd go for Madeline. Oh. Well, hmm. uh, don't you mean? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I mean sorry. Um, Callie's hit with a stick. Madeline's no. casting spells. The spells haven't affected it yet, but it mm -hmm. is really angry at Lucira. I think it's gonna run. It's gonna run with Lucira. Fucking Lucira. That's exactly what I thought it'd be. Enjoy your enjoy, enjoy your opportunity <laughs> attacks, guys. Um, it well. Only Madeline would get an opportunity to tap if Madeline has a weapon out. Does Madeline have a weapon out? Yeah. Why would okay. only Madeline get an opportunity to attack? Uh, the um, it, it doesn't leave your um your attack area. Uh, uh, um, it goes around. Well, you. here's the thing. I'm going to step farther away because I got 35 feet of movement. Oh, I can... you're really far. I, so I, I was just doing it for the. Fair icon, enough. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, you both get um Cali and Madeline good opportunity attacks. Absolutely. As the thing barrels towards Lucero. Yo. Nope. 
Oh, flail. Uh, sorry, I know these guys already uh, roll. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you guys hit the hell out of this thing. It is bloodied. Uh, it's made of bone, and the bone of its left arm actually um, uh, shatters with that much blunt force trauma. Um, and <sighs> it's running at you, Lucira. Yep. Um, it can't use its greatsword anymore. It's going to drop its greatsword. Nice. It's going to fucking falcon punch me into the wall now, but... That's why through. they say druids are the best damage dealers. It is going to grapple you, actually, with its one big hand, All and right. to try and force you into the acid. Athletics uh, again? Lucer, can you give me a uh, athletics or acrobatics check? And this is going to run a... What the hell have you done, Rolls, right? Uh, and it is going to roll. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh fuck oh. you, can't do it with a broken arm, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm pretty, I'm picturing it. It like tries to reach out for, and she literally just backhands the hand away from me. Like fuck you, you don't touch me. Yeah, um, you guys are uh, levitating above the water, so it gets a grapple on you for like a second and tries to force you down. And, like the soles of your boot or boots hit the acid, and then you just like judo disarm it, um, bitch slap it away. Okay, right, that's the turn. Madeline, what would you like to do? I'll smack it again. Well, I'll move closer and smack it again. Okay. Do you have zeal? <laughs> Do you have zeal active? Did, would you, um, did you add that onto your damage? Oh, force. Yeah, yeah you the, did. Oh, force. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Fifteen. Fifteen will absolutely hit. Sorry, Four actually, games. that is now three, three because it's based on my proficiency. So I never actually oh. changed that. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So you hit it in the extra... back. You hit it in the back, and the, you see the spine start to uh, shatter. It's still held together through magical means, but its thing is very close to death. Callie, what would you like to do? Um, I would like to do my signature, hit it with a stick. Hit it with a stick. Try and test it. It does tend to hit very often. Uh, okay, no, no, 12. 12 is, uh, it's AC's 12. Oh, um, nice. Okay, uh, you hit it with damage. It is, uh, yeah, extremely close to death. Lucera, what would you like to do? This thing is um, being held together by magic more than anything else. Okay, then. Do... You don't mess up. I'm going to do a second level magic missile targeting it. Okay, from point blank. Sounds good. Yep. Uh, so I get four of these. I can find out my goddamn spell thing. Where is it? Magic. Magic missile. Ba bam. You know what? I'll take twelve dam uh take sixteen damage. Sixteen damage? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you fire just you put your hand against the chest basically and <laughs> fire through it. Um and the uh the bones just go everywhere with all this force. Um and fly all the room. And you see the head, which was a like a reptilian or dragon head or something like that, um, just sort of fall back in play or fall down at the acid and it floats there in front of you and this thing is gone excellent you feel better now Lucero? I am much better now yes <laughs> <laughs> do you still wish to destroy the last totem I do not I'd rather not leave a job unfinished uh, with a distant presence will bite us but anyway uh, at the very least it's going to Stop the constant acid, I presume. Yeah, that's that's likely. So I mean, this, this is the source of acid, so it, it follows that you get rid of it. Of the acid yeah, and so basically, away. just gonna come here and yeah, the exact same. Okay. I'm sure this will have no negative repercussions whatsoever. And at destroying the last seal. Sealing in the no, I'm just fucking with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it it uh yeah no, it burns just like all the rest. Uh, smoke continues to whirl around this room and like shoot the chimney. And uh, yeah, this room seems finished at least for now. Okay. Maybe we come back later. The acid will be fully yeah. dead, like gone away. So do more archaeology. Uh, for, I'm gonna bonus action second wind real quick just in case something does come up. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Fuck me, of course. You want some healing? Damn. 
I, I, She's I cursed! <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly nearly full. That was just to top me up, but if I could <laughs> fucking not roll a one at every opportunity, I'd be really appreciative. Uh, Lucifer, I think you should get inspiration for um, Spite. You know what? Spite <laughs> is fine. I can run with Spite. Yeah. Very in character. Yeah, literally. That's just like, this thing not, popped not, up, fucking sucker punched me, and then fucks off? No, I will find you and you are dead. Re-dead in this case. <laughs> yeah, you have to answer the insult. You can't run away from it. Nope. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Also, I, I'd already had all the information, so like, who the fuck cares? Yeah. Um, yeah, this, this um, room for now seems done. You burned everything that had any reading on it, but yeah, you, you gained the information you could from the totems. There wasn't a ton there. Um, the um, the uh, I'm gonna just call it dragon skull. It might not be dragon. Uh, dragon skull still floating there. Yeah, I'll yes. take that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just add. Um, just call it dragon skull. Misk, dragon skull. Okay, sounds good. And if you want to find more out about that, you like do it with study at the town. Yes, that is fine. If I remember rightly, one of us has the book of monster things. So yeah, that could, that could yeah, help. Yeah. But working together will usually give you up uh, advantages. But the book will yep. definitely help. Great. Absolutely. Okay. And this area um, is just going to like Victoria smoke and zoom out. Yep. Yep. And you all leave the um, tomb. Okay. Well, um, that though there's nothing about the ogre peed, but at least we have eliminated some form of threat. The threat, and not only that, that as if it is clear that something is work besides the ogre, that, and she just sort of gestures at the fucking pool of acid, or more specifically the totems, was beyond the work of an ogre. There is something here in this land, or was at any rate, and I presume if the ogres were to create a burial site like that, that is... Uh, the ogre pit is likely not to do their work. It will be of someone else's doing. Hmm. So at the very least, we have discovered that there is something here, or something, or someone else here at work. Again, or there was. Who knows? I think it could be the same group that had that... Uh sacrificial altar where the souls were hmm. uh oh yeah that, that definitely was an ogre was it that, that was 100 not, ogre. not that, ogre yeah yeah that was definitely and not only ogre. that we know it's not ogre because there's um herb, uh shadow shadow kai people in in the yeah. air at least yeah. like in the well country. i know it's not i know it's not oh i know it's an ogre but it's the people who put the magic in here you don't think is ogre could it be those same people they, yeah, they would. Mm, no, because they were using the blood as fuel, weren't they? The souls yep. were aftermath. That right? is very true. Um, this isn't. This is definitely. This isn't blood magic. Even the necromancy is, is not blood magic. It's not blood magic, and then even the necromancy isn't blood magic. That's well, necromancy. That's something that's been sort of documented. I so we got the. There might be Shadar some. There might be some crossover, but not. So we have the Shadar Kai. Which um, had some dealings with vampires, yeah. and uh, and the <sighs> they have history with the um, the Raven Queen, or whatever her name is um, Blood mm -hmm. Magic. We have the ogres, which we know uh, had some sort of tribalistic, um, pretty simple magic life. References to dragons in now two. Of the um, the clans, um, yeah, and... specifically referencing Tiamat and one of them, or you know, what, yeah, specifically what to them, what was Tiamat, Tiamat, and then something to them in one of them. Um, and that. now you have some sort of something that's doing necromancy. I mean, Tiam I mean, well, hang on, Tiamat has no connection to necromancy, she's destruction, but not. Necromancy specifically. And not only that, it seems as though 
the one that was worshipping Tiamat was the one that just got dumpstered. It was the river? Yeah, it, was, okay. it was the river tribe. Yeah, but the river yeah, tribe okay. literally didn't do have a win to their name. At least this one killed a dragon, <laughs> and at least the other ones in the plains won because they killed the river tribe. Yeah, the river tribe literally just got like, ah, oh, we're just here. We just want to worship my like, dear Matt, and they're like, fucking no, dead. I think the Tiamat thing might be a red herring, and it's just them misinterpreting Hydra's. Entirely possible. Well, here's the thing: they worship <clears throat> Tiamat because of Hyde. No, because they um, there was one with Tiamat, and there was one that didn't mention Tiamat within the cave, wasn't there? Uh there was an old school one that um, uh, referenced Hydra's, and then the ones out in the village reference more like Tiamat as a Hydra or something like that. Mm. So there was some. There was yeah. Some so point, ma- some so maybe it just the worship shift. of yeah. Maybe the worship of Hydra is developed into Tiamat, mm-hmm. which would make sense because if you look at a very bad drawing of her, she does look like a giant, terrifying Hydra. Yeah, if you're a dumb ogre, which right. would make which which tracks. Yeah, I don't know. That ogre seems to outwit you. Fucking. <laughs> I mean, I still have the undead sword, right? <laughs> uh, the undead sword. The the glowing one. Yes. Yeah. The one that instantly kills undead or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 does, it does some fire damage. It does some fire. Yeah. She like glares at you and like literally puts a hand on the sword. Like I will fucking stab you with this. You know that, right? I still have my wooden stick. Shit, that wooden stick is way more dangerous. Um. <laughs> Because he's far more likely to hit me, and it does probably as much damage. Okay, guys. Um, this village doesn't seem to have much other clues. I think you, you you're done here, unless someone wants to do anything specific. I would like to look look for cursed items. <laughs> more loin okay. paths. Roll me a um. Roll me a d twenty. No, we'll stop on top. Oh shit! Not twenty. Son of a bitch! (laughs) (laughs) You find the ogre head of acid. (laughs) It just deals acid damage to you. (laughs) You found a wish ring. One moment. Wish blade. We're gonna do this for fun. We're gonna do this for fun. This is not representative of the lore. Also, no oh more for Chris Adams. <laughs> Roll me many... a one d hundred. Deck of many things. Oh god, let it be a deck of many things. <laughs> no, he's no, he's rolling on the cursed item table. Yeah, deck of many things is cursed. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, fucking ca- it, ca- it stops campaigns in a heartbeat. I think sixty-four is the deck of many things. I think fifty-two is. Quick, add, add twelve to it. Add twelve, please. Wagon of something or other. The bottle of endless coffee. Uh, one second. Do you like, mm-hmm. like I could do with that fast court, by the way. <laughs> Madeline. IRL. <laughs> Yeah, actually, IRL. I'm working early mornings and uh, uh, next week. Uh, we could do the same for T. Give me one moment here. But if you roll a one, it it doesn't have coffee for the day. I will take that five percent chance of no coffee. Ninety five percent chance of getting some coffee. Kind of funny that it's a student item. Okay. Um, you find um in the pile of muck underneath one of these um 
huts, there is the shine of some armor, or some metal. Uh, you see it is a magical set of scale mail. Um, hey, it's, it's, it's sized perfectly for you, too. Cool. Uh, what am I currently wearing? Uh, where's my fucking armor? Scale mill, okay, yeah. Um, um it, it do 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 okay. I will pick it up and I will check it out once we get back to like the camp place. Sounds good to me. Now, uh, I'm gonna have to pick up identify at some point, aren't I? Always a good one. I know, but it's like it's one of my but it's, yeah, but it's one of my fucking two spells that I can line up on a level up. Ugh, the pricey. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, boop, 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 boop. scale. Actually, I don't. Anti halfling I... stealing from me. I actually don't remember if um. Are you able to tell like the quality of armor and stuff before, or do you have to use identify for like plus one? Technically speaking, you got to use identify for literally okay. everything of it. That sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, this this um this scale mail. Uh. You pull it out. Um. And take a look at it and. Uh, While well, the gleaming caught your eye, it's just absolutely covered in muck and filth and goo and slime and all that crap. I shall give this a clean back at the camp and then try it on. Sounds good. Okay. Careful what you ask for. <laughs> okay, you guys head back to the camp, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I sounds good. to do here, I think. It it takes a couple days. Um, you know that the uh, the dwarves are mining away. Do you guys want to stop by the dwarves and see how they're doing, or do you just want to go back to camp? So I'll stop oh, by yeah. on the way just to be sure. Okay, yeah. it's a slight detour. Yeah, you just follow them back, and you know they're they're um, digging away. Um, they've already like opened up the side of the, like the little hidden tunnel. They've turned it into like a proper like tunnel, um, and uh, they're mining stuff out. They have a a, a decent pile of um this these these raw gold chunks not a ton of them just like a couple of golf ball size um and uh yeah they're just mining away at this stuff um and, you know they're just, the ones that are outside wave they're just yeah just pass by like any other issues any more ogre no. peeds or no no we've been left alone uh it's pretty good seam there was some loose flakes at first but where there's a good amount of flakes there's a bunch of gold behind it so we we dug and yeah we found a decent amount we think there's quite a bit more kind of concerning uh digging underneath the waterfall because well it's minor stuff don't worry about it but uh no it's going well uh if you take this back and just just the the gold there uh the little nuggets they have is back to the town let them know how it's going um we're going to dig out, see how much we can get, and we'll head back in a couple of days. That sounds fair. I'll, ah. I'll take the gold nuggets. Okay. Yeah. There's about 12 of them. Each of them golf ball size. Eh, maybe a little bigger than golf ball size, but yeah. Um, hefty weight to them. This is more, this is like a couple of gold bars worth. Uh, it's good. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, load up that and just continue along the river. Cool. Uh, sure. It's going to be like two days walk. Um, I still yeah. want to know what happens to the Hydra. That's a good question. Okay. Um, any conversations or anything like that you guys want to... Uh -huh. While you're walking? 
I suppose Callie does have a question. But you, we would need Sean here for it, so we'll wait. Ah, issue. Yeah. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, anything else? Mm. Two days walking. I don't think there's anything specifically, but uh, okay. yeah, we'd probably yeah. be having chats as we go along. I'm ready. We, uh, we've been keeping an eye out for like plant life or anything for potions, haven't we, as well? It's just pretty much a barren flatlands. Yeah. and Along the river isn't great. Um, you'd have to, yeah. There's yeah. just the normal plants. Um, uh, plants are used for herbs and stuff like that. They tend to grow better in adverse conditions because like, the unique properties of them are uh, survival mechanisms. Just like yeah. mint is flavorful to keep in insects away. Like is, if you take insects away, mint stops being minty. Oh, really? Um, yeah, no. Yeah. They grew mint in... Um, <clears throat> uh, they grew... Was it basil? I think it was basil. They grew basil in like space. And they're like, oh, it has no flavor. And then they were like, well, was it the space thing? or? And then they grew it um, on Earth in the same conditions. And like after several generations, it lost any sort of flavor to it or whatever. Neat. I think the radiation helped, like, spur it on. Mm. But it's, yeah, it's a defense mechanism, not entirely necessary. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys get back to town. Uh, it is a, um, a two-day walk, like I said, and not much conversation happens. Uh, you guys get back to town, and it's uh, pretty much as you left it. Um, you can see that the... Um, the oh, do you oh I'll, get, I'll get back to that later. Um, so you guys get back to town. Um, it says you left it more or less. Um, the uh, two brothers are building a fence, a really basic, but just like an enclosure for the goats that they have. Um, and yeah, Got like you know, a farm you know, starting. Yeah. Uh, no, no farms. They do it. Um. No, you don't see any evidence of like farming or plowing or anything like that. Yeah, um, but you don't see anyone else from the town. They must be like out doing stuff or like inside doing stuff. Okay, you're out of town. What would you like to individually do? No more ingredients for potions. Um. Hmm. I mean, I mean, wait. We well, you need to find uh, Faro first. And first. Oh yeah, you have to find Faro and give him the gold and let him know what happened. Yes. Yeah, you look around for Pharaoh. Uh He's nowhere in town right now. There's only two buildings, so it's easy to look for him. But no, there's there's yeah. no Pharaoh here. Yeah, well, can we ask Malandrek where Faro might be? Um, Malandrek, you would find inside. Um, the zombies are just sort of standing outside, but Melendrex's in there, and he seems to be like reading some stuff. I uh, says, uh, "Pharaoh, Pharaoh said that he would, uh, he wanted to look at the forest. Uh, apparently, he's been having conversations with it." I see. Uh, not my oh, sort of you thing. Might you might uh, find this interesting, Melendrex? We fought an ogrepede. I don't. Know, what's an ogrepede? It seems like someone melded the bodies of, like... How many bodies did you say there were, Ryan, in it? A dozen. A dozen, wasn't it? Yeah. A a do a, I've had a dozen ogre bodies together into one creature. Okay, actually, uh, that just quickly reminds me of something. Um, so, I, as a player, know what a flesh golem is. Yes. Um, super standard. Super standard, cool. So, yeah, so Lucero will definitely know what, what a flesh golem is, then. Yeah, absolutely. No, cool. yeah, flesh golems. Are, yeah. Yeah, cool. Just want to check. It would make sense for it to know, it, but yeah, like little kids are told stories about like Frankenstein. Cool. Yeah. Stuff. Um, picture a flesh golem made up of a dozen or so, um, ogre bodies, except not in a single form. More like one connected yeah, well, to the next, connected to the next. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Melendrex Mel Mel just looks at you, and he has a slight like frown, and he's just staring at you like, "What the fuck?" 
I know, okay. that was our reaction too. That is... Ooh, very crispy audio. Sorry. Right. Um, it sounds like you're falling down a flight of stairs. My, I, as far as I'm aware, I think it's my headset. I honestly don't know. Yeah. <laughs> as far as where I think I'm falling down some stairs? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Metal Metal Director says, that sounds like a very unique use for that talent. Uh, flesh errors are generally frowned upon. They can be good, like, can be useful, but to meld 12 ogres together, that's a lot of that's a lot of flesh, and that's a lot of work, and a lot of magic. It was indeed. Although there is something interesting. We've been um, traveling around a little bit. We have been coming across these ogre villages. Each mm. and every one of them seems to be the ground beneath it seems to be corrupted or blighted. And that's quite the same way as the... Sorry, um, as, as a village, are we calling it the Blightlands? Like, so that the uh, Malandrek will know what I mean by the Blighted Land or the Blightlands, or um, yeah, you guys are making the map. You name stuff, whatever you want. Cool, uh, but not quite like the Blightlands. More like air rot or decay. Mm -hmm. Madeline will pull out that vial of corrupted water she got. Oh one shit! Day. We did. You did pick that up, didn't you? And and, and show it to Drag Fire. Uh, he'll, he'll reach out and take it and look at it. And, well, are you sure it wasn't. He, hmm. And you're saying you suspect that this was magical in origin? This corruption? It wasn't just ogre oh, shitting everywhere like they do. It, uh, I don't know. But it seems too distinct, too specific to villages, and too different. This is not the ground itself rotting. It's something different. I mean, th this, yeah, it is something different. It is a deeper corruption than just waste. You think it came from this mound that had statues seeping acid from it? That was our belief in it. We aren't totally sure. I do not know if that is the source of the corruption. We know that this was a corruption, we know that the source of the, we think that the source of the ogre peed could be. We think that Barrowman was the source of the ogre peed, but mm. I think the corruption of that Barrowman is another symptom of whatever's corrupting. Like it almost seems like this is just me as a player. Um if something was attacking these ogres and wiping them out, and it was doing it in a such a way that it corrupted the ground itself. Mm. Like the fact that because because the ogres would have been around here. Yeah, they've the gone, fact, disappeared, yeah, disappeared, disappeared, disappeared fairly rapidly, from what I've heard, from what I remember. Yeah, like, it was not a case of like, oh, they died out. That was like, yeah, they were there and then they're gone. No, um, no without a trace seal. And the fact that these villages are so specifically are corrupted in this manner just seems something odd. Uh. I know of, I know of, but have not practiced some spells which could do such a thing. Um, unhollowing can um, certain necromancers can unhollow a corrupt area. Uh, it's illegal for us to do. It's hard to clean up, so they don't. You know, it's not a spell that we're allowed to do. Uh, I could go to one of these places and see if that's what's caused it. Um, if someone's using magic... Okay, so the mic is getting way worse, dude. <laughs> um, probably connection point might be bad. Or like the plug within the computer might be bad. So anytime that the um, the plug moves slightly, causes a... Yep, it is. Okay. Um, bah, 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 I was saying. Oh, um, but yeah, I, I could go out there and see. Um, it could also just be, um, a uh, a necromantic or just plain evil spell of uh intense power could blight an area. Hypothetically, I've not seen a spell of that sort. That would be very dangerous. Um, 
But yeah, if you wish, I could go and look, get more information. Suppose there is a concern that this corruption might spread in some regard and cause us issues mm. down the line. Well, neither of those. Well, so unhollowing or corrupting the ground, uh, that doesn't spread, that stays within its area. The uncontrolled magic causing an area to become blighted probably wouldn't spread, but hypothetically could. Uh, if it would, it'd be an extremely slow rate. Um, hmm. It isn't the best fucking tool, but perhaps not today. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe in a couple of weeks or a month, um, we could go back out there and you can tell me if it's spread. Easiest way to tell. That is fair. Uh, in the meantime, do you want me to do something with this uh, water here? If studying it will provide some sort of answer, then you may keep it and do with it as you wish. Um, if not, then yeah, perhaps give I me shall a, hang on to it. Give me a day. Give me a day with it. I won't ruin it. I'll just uh, study it a bit, look at it. Um, I have means of determining the magical potency of things. <laughs> hint, okay. hint. Good, good, good. See, Melandrak is intelligent. He has detect magic as a spell that he learned. <laughs> Listen, okay, I only learn so many spells a le level when I level up. I mean, I have detect magic as well, but I was relying on another spellcaster that might be a wizard to have it, you know? Well, you should take Wait, you can prepare your spells any fucking day. You shut your mouth. You don't have to learn your spells. <laughs> yeah, that's I know. Hang on, also, uh... what, what spells did I even the only spells that I've used from my repertoire are cantrips and ones that I don't have to worry about spell slots for. I've literally not used an actual proper spell. Oh, God. Fifty-two. Holy shit! I'm so poor. Yeah, me too. Right. Anyway, so are we going to go speak to Pharaoh, or are we just going to chill until he's back? Because I am okay with. Uh... Um. Yeah, maybe I'll let Farron know that we're back, what we found, just generally. He's not in the town at the moment, is he? No, he's not. No, he's, the, he's in the um, nosebleed forest, apparently. Yeah. yeah he's did, he, actually, did he go by himself? He like, did. Mm. Um, Melon Direct made it sound like he'd been doing it um, for the last couple of days. Okay, well, he's been okay for the last couple of days. He's probably fine, so. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? You hear the distant stand of a head exploding. <laughs> yes. Oh. Mushroom cloud <laughs> in the distance. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. what, what are you doing? Are you hang around till Pharaoh gets back? Or are you going to go find him in the woods? Or are you just going to take a bath? I think we just take a moment. But remind me, because we've got a blacksmith in the village now, don't we? Yeah, we do. Sort of. Sort of, yeah. Oh, no, we have a blacksmith. We can sort of. That's incredibly offensive towards him. He's a professional skilled blacksmith. Yes, but professional skilled blacksmith may. I mean, so, cause if I remember right, the longsword is actually in very bad condition. Um, the undead. Blue, yeah, the undead. Blue yeah, the blue. No, blue it's blue. in immaculate condition. 
So I was, wasn't it the handle then or something was like really bad condition? The handle, yeah, the handle's all right. Yeah, bodies. sorry, that's what I mean. Um, yeah, so yeah, would right. they be able that. to like restore that or? That's wood. Oh, wait, that's wood. Be... Yeah, that's wood. That's why it's all rotted, like bad. Oh, uh, the kind of the metal part. Nothing. So um, the metal part, the um, how to say? So you have the blade, and it has a I think tine, which it goes through the hand grip. This is the metal core of the hand grip. Uh, that's all like one piece of metal, and that's in that's immaculate perfect magically preserved um but the handle itself and the um what do you call it the the guard are like garbage um, yeah so if i wanted to go and get that restored like to a proper full yeah. condition is that something yeah. that they would be able to do or is that are yeah. they like oh, oh, undoubtedly yeah fantastic yeah i would like to go and speak to them then and see if we can get that sorted Rest of you can do uh, whatever you wish. Madeline is going to take a trip to the river. Okay. Um, she is going to, to uh, wash off her scale now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, or, or <laughs> you. You're gross also. No, true. But, you know. That's like actually a good point. I'm Probably dead. should wash off the acid at some point. Um. Oh, it's completely. Yeah. No, it's completely. <laughs> um, it's done its work. Yeah. <laughs> it's been taking acid damage for the last week while you're traveling back. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're just, your bones, you're just a skeleton walker. No. <laughs> okay, Madeline, uh, yeah, you you go in the river, and it's cold, uh, mm -hmm. and you wash up, and you wash up the mail, and all that. And, is um, it in very good nick, or is it... Uh... No, it's a great condition. It looks very old, too, it, like, like it, the pattern, you don't... The style you don't recognize, but it's in good condition. It's uh, it looks good. Cool, cool. Because mine is fairly battered from use. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, it doesn't take much thinking to know that this is magical in some form or way. I mean, even like lightly magical sword and armor tend to um stay in good condition. Yeah. Okay. Is my wife just pinging static? Uh, very rarely. And then occasionally mm -hmm. it'll like sound like you're throwing your computer down the stairs. Mike keeps doing this. I... I'm just watching my thing on Discord, just like flash screen when I'm not doing anything. Um, is your headset plugged in USB or is it the um, round no, screen plug? The, the, the back plugs. The, I don't know. Uh, you're the was it four and a half mil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've just rolled over the cable too many times and I've been too lazy to go and get it there. So. <laughs> I have, okay, I mean, I have a recommendation. I have a wireless headset I've used for a decade and it's A+, plus. it plugs into USB. Yeah, it probably should, to be honest. But I can give you a recommendation. I've, like, I've, I've re-bought this headset three times. And your recommendation, I've bought it, so that's what I'm currently using. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, uh, Lucera, uh, you're going to be... Um, Waiting around for um, Pharaoh, right? Uh, I'm not. Oh, I'm going, wait, I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going to the blacksmith. Oh, right. Sorry. I yeah, think. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh. So I think it's Callie is waiting around for him. Yeah, maybe Callie's doing his thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, blacksmith. Um, so the blacksmith is Erdov. The uh, it's a bugbear. Uh, right. It's the female lady. bugbear. Yep. And then it's um, the male. She... Just something is a part. Herbolg. Herbolg, that's it. Zar here, I'll just copy and paste. Yeah. Right, um, the droid. And there are a couple. Both of them are big. Uh they are taller than you. They're both like seven foot. Foot yeah, bears no. are big, aren't they? Yeah. They are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're like yeah. six and a bit feet tall while hunched over. Mm-hmm. And lions. Um, and uh, Erdov is working on a um, uh, making fishing hooks, uh, so it's like gentle work. Uh, and it, when you go to the their work area, they have like a um, uh, a kiln and a anvil, but it's like uh, 
it had a roof over it, but they're not really walls. They haven't really had time to build that in. Uh, just a general covered work area. Um, and Erdov's working on fish hooks, and Zar is uh, just holding a strange piece of fruit. Uh, Zar the Furbolg is staring at this strange piece of fruit sitting on a chair in the, in the corner um, as his wife is making these little fish hook things. Okay, yeah, let show you walk in, or, you know, in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the roof and no have room. Yeah, has a roof and that's it. Yeah, it's just a temple. <laughs> okay. Ah, I have heard you are the uh, smith that is helping this little village out. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ready to solve like yeah, the cargo quest. I, uh, what can I? Uh, what can I do for you? I'm in some need of uh, some repair work. I uh, should sort of. Draw the long sword a little bit and just sort of ha just hold it out like handle first, obviously. Um, I'm, th I'm not threatening the blacksmith, I want to point this out. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> um, I have been using this a little bit, it is coming to some handiness, but the handle is making it or it's the like, handle hilt, whatever. Um, the hilt is making it. A little difficult to yours, it feels like it will fall apart in my hands at points. Mm. And I was wondering if you are capable of repairing it. Uh, should be easy to do. Um, hmm. Anything special or just wood? Um, I mean, I would prefer something ornate. If it is wood, it is. No, uh, no, I don't No, Not ornate. I'm not, not talking about style or anything like that. I'm talking about. Um, hmm, how to put it? I can make it so it just doesn't get corroded or burned or anything like that. It, it, stronger, I guess, would be the term. That should um, be sufficient for now, at least. Perhaps okay. in the future, okay with, something. You okay without having this for a couple of days then? That should be fine. And she'll just sort of pat the rapier as it's like eh, anything else. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Excellent. Uh, Go to yeah. here. Uh, actually, also for once, she's actually going to be genuine. That is like, uh, she's mocking of others, but with someone with genuine skills rocks up, fantastic. Um, however, also you said uh, Zar, the some, male furball. Yeah, looking it's like a strange piece of fruit. Yeah, looks mostly bored. Um, but it just has this thing in the hand, like throwing it up on the ground occasionally, or throwing it up in the air occasionally and tossing it around. Um, yeah, just quiet. Just pe uh, yeah, but a piece of fruit, though. Oh, like, um, yeah. Z Zar looks up and is like, uh, hungry? And just hands it over to you if you no, want. No, not that. It's the fact that you've described it as a strange piece of fruit was like, do we know what it is, or? No. <laughs> you don't. No. Yeah, no, you've never seen this before. Uh, uh so... yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's purple. And the skin seems to sparkle in the sunlight, mm, no, like a no. like a large, um, uh, strange fruit. Yeah, grape, I guess, just round. Sure. So just sort of like that, and just like famished really, but uh, no less about the food. The more just curious. I have not seen a fruit of that, and a journey such as this will not really. Support keeping fresh fruit very well. No, no, I didn't. No, we didn't bring it. Uh, Pharaoh brought this over from the forest, and we're just sort of mm, trying nice. out to see if it's uh, dangerous. I, I suppose mm, she'll just sort of, like toss it back a bit, and like uh, yes, the forest is to just to well beside us. There's uh, something very strange about that forest. Things growing oh. not as they should. Yeah, it gives me the creeps. Yeah, that it does. I don't. Do you you had some interaction with the 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 thing that lives there, mm, right? Inter interaction is obviously oh, a strong word. It was yes, it was a conversation, but the voice. Have you spoken to it at all? Um, a bit. I didn't like it in my head. No, um, not really. Where I wish people. Yeah, it it says it's Fey, but my Wait. gut tells me it's not. It's something else. Oh, really? You think it is not Fey? No. Would, would have been my guess. It, it is not far from uncommon for creatures such as they to 
residing in the forest. One moment. Um, yeah, no. Um, well, just because it lives in the forest doesn't mean it's Faye. But you have a conversation with it. Not very clever. Not really greedy either. Faye tend to do transactional, and they tend to, uh, screw you over. Yeah, I'll screw you over. They're pretty dangerous. This thing just seems like it's dumb and bored. Yes, but what other creatures could reside within the forest itself? I don't know. I, the world. The world's a wondrous place, and uh, yeah. But I wouldn't eat any fruit from there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't cut any trees from there. I wouldn't really interact with it if I was you. It, it doesn't seem hostile intentionally, but it has a lot of power. And power plus not terribly intelligent means at least to meet danger. Pharaoh's uncertain. He thinks there might be potential there. I suppose that is why he's been heading there the past couple of days. God damn it, Tom. Okay, hold on. I'm going to answer the phone. Okay, guys. Um, well, I'm gonna have to end it there. All right, fair oh, enough. Yep, I got some shit popping up. Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed okay. that. Okay. I'm so Great glad. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yep. See ya. I'm gonna have to wait a week to find out.